Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in the garden and we're just going to be working in the garden today. Um, it's the 20th, March the 20th. Uh, nice sunny day. These are really wet today. So, my broccoli is getting dry so I put them in a wet one to get some water. They're doing really good. The wind's really blowing them though. But they're getting strong. And I haven't emptied these. But I'm hoping that the soil might be dry enough tomorrow to plant my potatoes. It's getting really dry on top. But I gotta this one's probably as full as I'm going to fill them for my potatoes because I'm going to put more dirt on top of them once the potato plant comes up. So I think that will be enough. This one I might put a little bit more in. This one I don't know. This one's in between. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more on this one too. A lot on this one. And these too. So. I'm working on that. And I'm also going to like drill or cut some holes with the pocket knife in the side and so that they can drain the better drainage and here's some pallet wood i'll talk about later for a project i'm gonna be making for my garden it's not really a project it's like a diy kind of thing i don't know so i started on this project of making signs for the garden with the old pallet wood and um this one's all right i did pretty good until i got to this e right there but it's fine it'll work and that's my paint and paint brush so i have a lot i can do still um yeah i might decorate it with a different color when I get a different color. And I might do a second coat, I don't know. So it lasts through the rain. And I'm using an exterior black paint. I don't know what kind. I'll put it in the description box.
so I'm going to stop painting for the night. Well, evening, I <clears throat> have painted a lot. I need a break from painting. <laughs> and I've done, I think, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, 11 signs. And they don't look too bad. Um, now I just need to know, figure out how I'm going to <clears throat> display them in the garden. So, okay. like, if I plant, um, something in these tubs, I could just, like, put it right next to it. Like, if they're both potatoes, I could put the potato one in between them. Or... Um, I'm still thinking of ideas besides putting them on the ground. Um, if I would have thought about it, my little sister had a good idea that I, like, have one and get, like, a sturdy stick and, like, you know, like, string, string around all sides of it. And then the stick would be down, and you can put that into the dirt soil, and it would be pretty cool. But then I should have left, like, a space, you know, so I didn't cover the words. But I might still do that, and I still have nine more papers, uh, not papers. Um, flat wood, whatever. I actually have ten, eleven. So, oh, I might have the perfect amount. I don't know. I can't think of anything else except lettuce. Oh, yeah. So, like, lettuce, cantaloupe. Um, pumpkins, and then I still have seven more. Um, oh, basil, so I have six more. Well, let me think here. guess any other herbs if I do herbs and for the pepper one I'm probably just gonna put all my peppers next to each other so that'll work for them all I mean we usually just put sticks at the end of the rows so I saw another thing I might try it's using like Dollar Tree wooden spoons and at the on the top of the wooden spoon you write the a picture of the vegetable or the word and then you can just stick in the ground real easily so that's a good idea but I mean you can use free sticks so I wanted something cheaper but a dollar per stick that could rot and break after a year, probably not worth it, but it is a good idea. Especially if you just have like an old one, you know, recycle it to the garden. There's our cat. So, I haven't figured out how to make drainage holes for these yet. I'm probably going to do some more gardening things tomorrow. Um, so I'll add this to what I've done today. And hopefully I'll get done editing it for Monday's video. So, uh, 
If not, it'll be for Friday. And you'll know by when you're seeing it. So, the garden. I'm also going to try... My aunt told me that it would be good if I put holes in my compost bin. And I've been thinking about that. It would make sense too. It's better for composting. I also need to add some manure and stuff. So, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Um, so I'm headed to the garden, but just a little thing. I don't know, one of the things I like to do in the spring and summer is hang clothes on the clothesline. It's weird, but I really kind of like to do it. first four are very dry, um, pretty dry. So this one, this one, and these are very dry. And this one and these two are not the driest because I was making some drainage holes. I don't know if I did enough, but hopefully It'll help. I might make more later. But um, water was coming out of those drains. go ahead and get my potatoes. So I think the first ones I do, I'm going to be doing pon Poniac, something like that. And I think I'm going to put three in. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna plant mine pretty deep because I've never done it before and I don't want it to come out. And I'm gonna face them upwards. So that's where one is. And I'm going to put the other one. So one's right there. Next one is gonna be right here. Then I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to try planting this one a little deeper. That's really deep. Actually. So we're going to get this one. That's actually a, probably the best depth. So, number one tub, done. Okay, I found a little bug. 
rug. I'm not really sure what kind it is. I don't know where it went. But if you saw it, please leave a comment and tell me what the name of it is. So right now I'm getting the second tub ready for potatoes. Oh, there it is. Can you see it? It might be dead, I don't know. Let's see if I can get him to move. He's moving, he's on his backside. So first I'm gonna go get my go every other one. So we're going to do Yukon Golds. I'm going to put four Yukon Golds in just to see. I'll do three on the other one, but we're just trying it out. That's a nice worm. Two. one for this tub. I'm going to go right here. So that's the second, oh, fourth one in the second tub. So done with this tub and this tub. So I'm in the third tub and I've seen three more of these. Oh, there's another one right above it. Yep. So, four. But, I'm gonna get three of these kind. So, first hole. On the bo very bottom sides, there's like three on each side, you know, of the shape. So, hopefully, that's enough. See how this one had water wetness? So, I don't know if I'm gonna plant in these three yet because they are still wet. See how this one. I made the three and no wet is coming out of the water. This one was very dry 
Okay, so my camera cut off a little bit, but I'm done planting my potatoes. I planted this one, Poniac, whatever you want to, however you pronounce it, Yukon Gold, and then I'm not really sure where it went from there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planted this one was really wet and one of those was too but if they don't come up I do have spares inside so yeah and then I was going to show you my signs they're coming along my mom suggested I hammer a strong stick on the back that might be better but I like that idea, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I am going to use the sign. Because I'm not going to plant things for a while, so it wasn't on the must-do-now list. My broccoli, I might need to bring it inside. It's not looking too good. Just that one plant, I think. I think purple, Yukon purple. I'm a little confused because I went out of orders and stuff and this one was wet. So I'm just going to plant purple because I think that's what I'm on. It doesn't really matter though. Looks a 
bit wet. So I'm gonna plant them a little shallower. They'll have most of tomorrow to get some dryness. If that really helps. And then it's gonna rain again. I forgot what I was doing, but I think I'm doing Six barrels, general tubs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we didn't do that one. So five, six. So I might just do that one. We'll just see. I'm gonna put like five in here, so we'll see. I have like three little ones that only have one spout. So I'll put them all in the same hole. This one's gonna be pulling that too. It doesn't really matter. So, we're gonna mix these and put a Yukon in with them. Another Yukon gold. Like worm dirt, like wet, like you would think a worm is. But if they don't work, I still have some potatoes inside for when it does dry out. My mom had got way too many potatoes. Who knows? This one only has one, so I'm just gonna put them next to each other. I'm gonna put them a little deeper though. spares if none of them grow up grow in like two to three weeks so I think that's how long it took last year I'm not really good at remembering but I'm gonna keep track of when I plant everything so that I know when my signs have dried they're looking really good my mom suggested like putting a strong stick on the back and hammering like a nail into it, nail into. So I think I like that idea best. 